Oh, what up, y'all? It's Furious Styles, and I'm trying to see if I should represent for 21 divisional titles, the most in MLB history, with this. Or should I represent the Furious Styles YouTube channel and the Furious Styles podcast with this? I got it. Both. <laughs> All right, let's get into the purpose of this video. So, I've got one reason why your Machine MK3 might not be working with Pro Tools. And we're going to get into it right after this. All right, now, let me show you the problem and let me show you the fix. So, I've got Pro Tools open. Let's get a session started by naming it. I've got a template group called Podcast, so when I hit Create, Pro Tools is gonna build my session exactly the way my podcast looks. And as you can see, we've got the instrument track, the machine track. These two are connected, of course. We've got my vocals, my guest vocals. But we're going to focus on the instrument track, which has the machine to insert, which is the plug-in for Pro Tools. As you hear me hit the pads, you don't see any readings inside of the plug-in for machine or the meters inside of Pro Tools. Machine is basically frozen. So let's X out of here. Close this session. All right, we'll go ahead and quit Pro Tools. Now, let's check the Machine 2 application, the standalone. And see how that fares. We'll just grab the first kit we see. And as you can see, normally we would see the meters going up and down over here next to the instruments, but we're not getting a signal here either. So let's go ahead and quit machine. Now, here's what you do. Go to, to fix this, go to Finder. Go to Macintosh HD library, application support, Avid, audio, plugins, and here are our culprits right here. Now, this group of plugins is called the FB360 plugins. And if, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the developer for these plugins are called Ambisource. They're, they're in connection with Avid. Every time that I do an update for Pro Tools, these plugins pop right back into the system folder. Um, there's five of them always. You have a control, converter, mix loudness, spatials, and stereo loudness. What we're gonna do is, is we're gonna select all of them. And we're gonna move them to the trash. X out of here. Now, just hit restart. All right, we're back. We've restarted the computer. I'm back in Pro Tools. Let's go to their recent session that we created called YouTube and open it up 
and let's see what we get. All right, pay attention to the instrument track. Let's open up the plugin. We'll just use this first kit right here to work with. Oh. And as you can see, we're getting readings or signals over here in the machine plugin. And if you look over here in Pro Tools, we're getting a signal over here as well. So all is well inside of Pro Tools with the machine plugin. Now just to be on the safe side, we're going to go to the Machine 2 application and just make sure everything is okay there. Let's quit Pro Tools. Alright, now we're going to go into Machine to the standalone application and see how things are looking over here. We'll use this first kit. And as you can see, over here, we are getting signals. So, all is well. We're back in business. All right, so that's the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave me a message in the comments section. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Oh, and uh, let me know if you need me to go a little bit further in depth in regards to setting up instrument tracks inside of Pro Tools and connecting it with your machine MK3. Um, this video here is assuming that you already know how to do that. But if you need me to make that video, I will, because that in itself is a whole other beast. And I would definitely need to make a separate video for that. So I might just make the video anyway. But, um, oh, and Braves Nation, let's not just stop there. Let's get to the World Series, all right? And win it. <laughs> all right, y'all. Until next time, peace.